Hello students. Today we are going to solve one problem from CSRNet 2022, 16 September. So in that question, and that question ID is 54. In that question, there is a hard sphere scattering process is given pi minus P goes to pi minus P. Also, given that the mass of pi mesons is on, on by six times the mass of proton. And the mass of proton is 938 mega electron volt per C square. So they ask what will be the total scattering cross section. So you know pi minus p, both are subatomic particle. So to calculate that total scattering cross section, we have to use quantum uh, rule. Okay. Also, these particles are high energy particle. So we have to calculate this total scattering cross section at high energy regime. Okay. And we know that total scattering cross section quantum mechanically at a high energy regime that will be sigma equals to 2 pi r effective square, where r effective will be the effective radius of pi minus and proton particle. So if I draw that picture of proton and pi minus particle. So let us assume this is the structure of proton. And let us assume its radius is rp. And also let us draw that structure of pi minus. So let us assume this is the structure of pi minus particle. And its radius is r pi. Then r effective will be the distance between the center of this two particle. So this will be the r effective. And that will be nothing but r p plus r of pi minus or pi. Okay. Now we can calculate radius of proton. And with the help of this radius of proton, we can calculate that radius, radius of pi minus also. So how we'll calculate that radius of proton? Because proton is nothing but structure is like on H1. So I can calculate this by using R equals to R naught a key power one by three. And A will be the mass number for proton, it will be one. So it will be R naught on key power one by three. So this will be nothing but R naught. And R naught is basically of the order of on femtometer. Okay. So this is the radius of proton actually. Now, we know that volume is nothing but mass per unit, uh, mass divided by density. So I can write that volume of pi minus particle will be 4 by 3 pi r pi cube. That will be the mass of pi particle divide by its density. And let us assume this is the equation number one. And similarly, you can cal calculate or you can write same formula for proton. So if I write it 4 by 3 pi rp cube, that should be equals to the mass of proton divided by density. And let us take this is equation number two. Now, if I divide equation number one by equation number two, we will basically get r pi cube equals to r p cube into the mass of a pi particle divided by mass of a proton. And we know that mass of a pi particle is 1 by 6 times mass of proton. 
So this relation will, uh, will become now on by six into RPQ. And RPQ is how much basically it is on. So I can write this is on by six FMQ. It means R pi will be on by root six femtometer. So it will be around zero point four zero femtometer. Now we have obtained the value of R pi as well as the value of R p. So we can calculate R effective now. So R effective will be. rp plus r pi so it will be on point four zero femtometer okay so now if, if i substitute these values here then we'll get sigma equals to two into three point one four into 1.40 chi square into 10 k power minus 30 meter square because on femtometer is nothing but 10 k power minus 15 meter and this will become around approximately 11 into 10 k power minus 30 meter square okay so it will be approximately 0 0.11 on on burn because on burn is nothing but 10 k power minus 28 meter square okay so this is the closed values of 0 0.1 bar. So the correct option is the total scattering cross section for this hard sphere scattering is 0 0.1 bar. Thank you.